I didn't allocate a billion hours. Yeah. So I was going to school and playing sport. Like, do you understand the time? Like, yeah, I yeah, didn't yeah. have much time. It wasn't like, oh, I just wake up and do it. Like, I yeah. had very limited hours, but I was very, very good at using the time that I had in the income producing activities to yeah. build that business. And, of course. Um, you know, progressing from a couple of years after that, I still was in college, still was playing sports. About a year and a half from that point, I uh, business got so big. So, and for the audience, give them your background story. Give them a couple minutes of, of who you are, how you how you you know uh, evolved, and and how, now you're running an eight nine figure uh, you know online business. Yeah, how nine. Did all, how did it all would start? be nine figure. If yeah. mine is eight, yeah. is nine for sure, sales yeah. wise. Pesos or U.S. dollars? <laughs> dollars. Dollars. <laughs> <laughs> U.S. You just US gotta US. confirm. You know, we're <laughs> out of the country. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, yeah. Fucking in Mexican business is a trillionaire. Net <laughs> 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 worth cool. is the same as Elon Musk, bro. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'll take you back. 18 years old. Yeah. I was a full-time college student athlete going to school for baseball, really. Yeah. That, was, that was my passion. That was my life. In high school, two-sport athlete, baseball and basketball. Yeah. And uh, after high school, I was like, you know, hey, let's go to college and hopefully get drafted and become a pro. Yeah. That was my mentality. Um, I wasn't going to school to be a doctor or a lawyer or something like that. You right? just wanted I to just wanted to excel my baseball career. Always did good in school. Yeah. Never bad grades. Always a yeah. good student. Um, and, you know, I, at that time, I, I had that dream and that passion. And randomly, I, I met a person on the college campus, became friends with the guy. We're just hanging out, going to parties, doing different things. And, uh, you know, he's like, hey, man, I think you'd be pretty good at what I'm doing. Literally, that was That's the crazy. conversation. And uh, I was like, what do, you, what do you got going on? He's like, bro, swing by tonight. I'll show you. We'll sit down. I'll go over everything with you. And uh, he introduced me to network marketing. And never heard of it didn't understand any of it i was like do i have to take this product and go door to door and just like like i had no idea how it worked i didn't understand the concept it was baffling i i never heard of network marketing that was the first exposure 18 years old i never heard of it didn't know any of the companies knew nothing about it right crazy and uh he basically said hey i'm doing this with it i'm already making this much a month with it and he showed me everything he just had a brand new bmw i was like all right. Was he like a six-figure earner type of deal? Uh, or right like right, right around a six-figure okay, earner, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he was young, young guy, you okay. know, like college student. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, okay, even if this is like a part-time little hustle thing while yeah. I'm in college, have some extra money while I'm playing sports, like why not? Yeah. yeah. So I was like, okay, if you teach me, I'm doing it. So literally the day after I heard about it, I got started like that quick. And That's then uh, basically within six months of meeting him, I started making a full-time income. So not rich, but making a yeah, full-time yeah, yeah. income, you know, the average American income. And then uh, within 12 months, I was already making $100,000 a year. Shit. Yeah, so from 18 to 19, that happened fast. But the, the unique thing about it was I didn't allocate a billion hours. Yeah. So I was going to school and playing sport. Like, do you understand the time? Like, yeah, I yeah, didn't yeah. have much time. It wasn't like, oh, I could just wake up and do it. Like, I had very limited hours, but I was very, very good at using the time that I had in the income producing activities to yeah. build that business. And, of course. Um, you know, progressing from a couple years after that i still was in college still was playing sports about a year and a half from that point i uh business got so big yeah so big like at what point Friday, in your like, business did like, you have to make the pivot knowing that like baseball is not going to be your future and you're going to be doing network marketing yeah so that's kind of that, that that that's that's, that's, that's kind of what i was yeah. getting to right there i was yeah. like i started traveling and yeah. i was missing school yeah, couldn't yeah, be yeah. there this and i'm like well hey i already probably make you know way more than anyone that I know um, or any of my family members or anything yeah, at the time. Yeah. If I really put the effort into this thing, because like I said, that was minimal time. Yeah. Yeah. If I really go all out, what can I do with this yeah. thing? And, uh, you know, I decided to do that. I left school, not saying you should leave school, nothing like that at all. But um, for me, I was there more so for sports. I yeah. didn't see myself working for someone else. I always felt like I would be a business owner, right? Yeah. And even coming at a point with no money, I still had that, that mindset mm -hmm. of like owning a business, leveraging other people's efforts. That's what the wealthy people in our world do. And uh, yeah, I just went all in. I really went all in. And now looking back, it's been like 10 years. So I'm 28 Crazy. now. I just turned 28 a couple of weeks ago. So A decade, brother. decade in it. And uh, it was crazy. I, it actually hasn't even hit me. Like, I didn't realize I've been in a... Like, I knew I was been in a decade, but I didn't think about, like, how, how long is a decade, right? 